Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. I know it has been a very long time since I had made a voiceover, but I promise I'm going to try to do this more often. It's not going to be a simple speed paint, I'm actually going to be talking throughout this one. So I hope y'all are excited for what's about to happen. Throughout this video I'm just going to be coloring over a drawing that I had already made the line art for. She is a character that I had made five years ago or something. She was originally supposed to be your drama queen type of person, but her hairstyle kind of reminds me of someone who's a bit more bubbly. So I decided to create her something like this to make her character look like she belongs somewhere, I want to say, in the 80s. So let me go ahead and provide you with a little bit of background as to why exactly disappearing for months on end. First, to start off with, if you don't already know, I had a full-time job along with full-time college that I was enrolled in. It was probably the most wonderful six months of my entire life. Like, I met so many cool people, I had made a lot of wonderful memories, I got a beautiful job and I was loving it. Once that six month came in and after I came back from my vacation it seemed like everything changed. Everyone was being yelled at for not being good enough and it just got so stressful from that day forward. It got to the point where two months before I had turned in my notice, I was crying every night and every morning that I woke up because I had to go to work. And let me tell you, that is not a good thing to do if you're that stressed about your work that you wake up in tears because you have to go to work. I am glad that I left that job and I'm in a much better place right now. Not only that, I did say I was going in a full-time college. So I had classes that I was doing almost every day, except of course in the weekends. Mostly I had chose the classes that were in the evening, and my latest class would run until 8 p.m. I was pretty tired from classes and I was tired from work and they could be very flexible with my schedule. So I can, you know, still go to full-time college and full-time work and still have just a tiny bit of time for me. Given how stressful it was the last two months that I was there, it wasn't worth it, if that makes sense. I felt like I needed more and more time to myself. I came into work even more and more depressed. I was feeling anxious every time and I almost threw up a couple of times because of how bad it was. And I guess I just snapped when everyone I loved left. You know how something can be so wonderful when you're with the right people? I had such a beautiful supervisor and beautiful friends and co-workers that I would talk to and they would make me feel a lot better about myself. But half of those people got pulled into a different department and my supervisor quit because there was new management and they kept yelling at her. And eventually I was all alone. The remaining friends that I did have were on the other side of the room that I can't talk to them. I can't raise my voice in that situation. I can't speak to them. I couldn't even email them. It was just the worst environment ever. And I couldn't believe that I was so blinded by that in the first six or so months that I was working there. I lasted a whole year trying to work and do college at the same time when I decided during the summer, you know, enough is enough. And then I quit. I turned in my notice and I quit. So that has been 
a brief overview of what exactly had been happening over the past few months, maybe year, since my last video or, you know, my whole disappearance thing. But I'm hoping to make it up for you guys with all of these new videos, new concepts. I am currently trying to get over art block and just self-deprecating moments about my art. But without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and go into this Q&A to make this dark little session turn in a bit brighter. So the first question comes from someone named Puglover30. And they asked, what's your favorite drawing you've done? I feel like that's a hard one. <laughs> I love almost every drawing that I have put out there, even the most weirdest ones. I have a whole wall covered in my artwork, but I would say currently at the moment, the last artwork that I had did in my college class, it was a self-portrait. I... I love that one so much. You had to sit there, you had to be emotionless. Um, so that's why in the artwork I look dead. But you had to be emotionless and you looked at yourself in the mirror and you just drew yourself. I did it with simple brown paper and charcoals along with the uh, pastels. I did white pastel for the highlighting and stuff like that. It is my favorite artwork. I have it hanging up on my door. My door has is painted like almost like a galaxy type of situation. Um, so it's very colorful in the back, but then you see my face, which is emotionless, but I think it's just so beautiful. It makes me smile every time I see it. I am just extremely proud of myself for making that. The second question also comes from Puglover30. And they said, what artist do you look up to? Um, I would say the artist that I look up to, her name is Emily Artful. She is a YouTuber, at least that's where I know her from. But she is such a beautiful artist and just an amazing person. She's just got a very great mindset. For me, I look up to her and I just feel so grateful. The next question comes from a person called Cake Draws Trash. Their question says, how long have you been drawing and how long did it take you to get where you are now? I have been drawing ever since I could pick up a pencil. I loved to draw when I was a kid. I haven't actually seriously been drawing since I hit middle school. Once I hit middle school, I, I just saw it as more than a hobby, and I decided to pursue with that and go with that. Um, I did struggle with that idea throughout high school, wondering, is this really what I want to do? And sometimes, I do admit, I still struggle with that, <laughs> but deep down I know art is something that I really love. Once I began drawing seriously, about six years ago, that's how long it took me to be where I am. And I actually first started out drawing anime, like anime type of style, you know, stuff. If you look at my wall that I have hung up of my artwork, it's all anime stuff. Uh, I didn't start my cartoonish type of style until the last year or two. I just love trying new things, and I don't ever think I'm gonna have my style. I'm like a jack of all trades. I love to dabble in everything, and I can't ever settle for one thing. It just makes me anxious, and I no longer want to do it anymore if I continue to force myself to do one thing. So, yeah, that was just a long long ramble on that question. Let's go to the next one. So this question is from Adorable Pandas 4 and she says, what's your spirit animal and why? My spirit animal is a jellyfish. Jellyfish are just 
so beautiful. I have a tattoo, my first tattoo I've ever gotten, it's of a jellyfish. Uh, it's a blue purplish type of tattoo. To me it signifies because, don't quote me for this, but I do believe at least some jellyfish can regenerate. Like they, if a limb breaks off or gets torn, they can regenerate that limb. So when I got this tattoo, I wanted to show myself that even if the world can break or tear me apart, I can always grow back or I can always keep continue to grow. I can always continue to live. So yeah, <laughs> jellyfish are a huge deal to me. I really love them so much. So yeah, I don't want to ramble for any longer than I have to. That, those were the simple questions and answers. I know that's not a lot. That was only like four questions or so, but I don't want to ramble on too much and I don't want to make the video longer than it should. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it at here. But I thank you all for watching this video and I hope y'all subscribe if you haven't done already and hit that bell notification in case I post another video. If you did like this one, I want you to go ahead and and leave a like, comment what your opinions are, you know, maybe ask me some questions in the comments and I can most definitely answer them uh, either in the comments or on my next YouTube video. Also, if you have any other ideas of what my video would be or what you want me to draw next, definitely go ahead and leave a comment down below and I can most definitely consider that. But I thank you all so much for watching this and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.